The questions have been identified. Good. Time to move to the next step, the challenge. The objective here is to turn the essential question previously identified into a call to action. How? First, by asking students to find data and identify reliable sources of information so that they can learn and share the knowledge about the subject. Second, by charging them with developing a local solution to the global problem. Choosing and setting up the challenge is crucial. Besides having a global resonance, the challenge has to be sufficiently exciting and meaningful so that students can derive personal meaning, gain confidence, self-esteem and a sense of accomplishment upon proposing and implementing a solution. When the challenge is too broad, too vague or not sufficiently related to current concerns, students will flounder. If the challenge is too narrow, students might not be able to fully develop their critical skills. The risk is that they will not get out of their comfort zone and thus the challenge will not be as effective as it should be. The challenge also has to be short in terms of commitment and workload. Some challenges will be addressed in a day or a week when others will last for a whole semester or a whole academic year. Regardless of the nature of the challenge, it's important to make sure that time is being allocated to allow students to work on it. Indeed, if the challenge is too complex for the allotted time or too engaging or time consuming, students will feel pressured or frustrated and thus stop the project, drop out of the class or rush the process to come to a solution for the sake of having one. If it's too small or too simple, they will quickly lose interest. Examples of challenges related to Big ideas and essential questions are, for example, if your question was how do stereotypes and cliché impact recruitment processes, a challenge could be to create a fair recruitment procedure. If the question was how can companies include sustainability in their business model, a challenge could be to, enc to encourage companies to have a positive impact on local communities or to build sustainable and profitable business models. If the question is, how can we make a more efficient use of our, of our time, then the challenge could be to optimize the meetings and teamworks. Finally, if the question was, how does the accessibility to healthcare affect the mental and physical health of the community, a challenge could be to increase the access to psychological healthcare to students, for example. At the end of their first phase, students have identified a compelling and actionable challenge statement. The risk is high that the students will start looking for direct solutions, and it is your role as a teacher to slow the process down and to let students know that several steps are necessary before articulating solutions. Several tips are available in the resource section to help you navigate through CBL.